Hello data pros, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Snowflake learning series. In our previous video, we explored Snowflake's replication and failover features, and demonstrated how they support high availability and disaster recovery needs for your organization. Today, we're shifting our focus to Snowflake Streams, an essential concept for data engineers and developers. Let's jump right in. In order to understand streams, you should first be familiar with the concept of change data capture, or CDC. In any data platform, efficiently transforming data from one table to another is crucial. Imagine a source table from which data is extracted, transformed, and loaded into a target table. After the initial load, if new records are inserted into the source, refreshing your target table by reloading the entire source table is inefficient and costly. This is where Change Data Capture, CDC, comes into play. CDC is a process that officially extracts only the data that has been added or changed in the source since the last load to the target. Let's understand this better using some examples. Imagine a source table named Order Raw. My requirement is to transform this raw data into an order analytics table, which will later be used by my BI tools for creating reports. Let's get into the Snowflake UI and see this in action. To start, we'll create the source and target tables we just discussed. Please assume that your source team is loading some initial records into the raw source table, and you have this SQL process that transforms the data from the source table and loaded into your target table. So far all good, your BI team can run reports on this data. But what if your source team has added a few more records to their table? These records are obviously not present in your order analytics table. To get these new records, you would typically end up truncating the existing records and reloading the entire dataset. This approach is acceptable for smaller tables, but consider real-world projects where the source table has millions of records, and only a few hundred new records are added regularly. In such cases, reprocessing the entire table is not a viable solution. This is where Snowflake streams come in. You simply create a stream on top of your source table and read from the stream instead of the raw source table. When querying the stream, you only get the newly loaded data, allowing you to efficiently load only the new records into the target table. After creating the stream, I'm inserting two new rows and running a select query against the stream. It's very clear that we only get the two new rows that were inserted after the stream was created, more specifically not all rows in the underlying table. Now I can replace the source table name with this stream in my analytics table loader SQL, which allows me to effectively load only the changed records. Not only does the stream track inserts, but it can also track updates and deletes. Let's see this in action. I've just performed an insert, an update, and a delete. And as you can see, the stream tracks all of these. When a stream is created, Snowflake adds three additional metadata columns to the base table. These columns are not visible when querying the base table, but will be visible only when you query the stream. Inserts and deletes result in a single row in the stream. In contrast, updates generate two rows, one representing the deletion of the existing row and another for the insertion of the new row. Additionally, the metadata is update column will be true to indicate that the action is an update rather than a simple insert or delete. Please feel free to enhance your load process to incorporate updates and deletes as required. In addition to these three metadata columns, Snowflake also maintains an offset for each stream. Think of the offset as a bookmark in a book. It tracks how many pages you've read so far, and when you read more, you move the bookmark forward to reflect your progress. Just like a bookmark tracks the pages you've read, a stream offset tracks the versions of the table that have been processed. Whenever a DML operation is performed or a transaction is committed, Snowflake creates a new version. Let's assume after table version 3, you create a stream on this table. As soon as the stream is created, Snowflake marks the stream offset as version 3. It's important to note that the stream does not track DML operations performed before its creation. Therefore, if you query the stream now, you would expect to see zero records. If new records are created after the stream is created, this results in a new table version. Let's say another insert occurs after that, resulting in one more new version. 
If you query the stream, Snowflake extracts the records loaded since the last offset, resulting in only the two newly loaded records being returned. It's essential to note that you can select the stream as many times as you want, it does not move the offset. The offset only moves forward when the stream is used in DML operations such as insert, update, or delete. Just like a book can have two different bookmarks with different colors, one for you and another for your friend, you can indeed create multiple streams for the same table. All streams share the same metadata columns, but each maintain different offsets. You can create streams not just on standard tables, but also on external tables that point to a cloud storage location, like S3 Bucket, Azure Blob Container, or even Google Cloud Storage. We'll discuss tasks in the next video, but by combining streams with tasks, you can create end-to-end -end automated data ingestion pipelines, right from your cloud storage, all the way to your final consumption tables. Before I close this video, I'd like to quickly talk about the types of streams. Snowflake supports three types of streams. A standard stream tracks all DML changes, including inserts, updates, and deletes. It is supported for streams on standard tables, directory tables, or views. And this is the default type if you don't specify anything. An append-only stream exclusively tracks row inserts, and it does not capture update or delete operations. This means that if you insert 10 new rows and delete 5 of those rows, all within the same offset, the stream will still show 10 rows, as it does not track deletes. Insert-only streams are exclusively for external tables. This streams also track only inserts, but work a little differently because the underlying data is stored in cloud locations outside Snowflake. For example, suppose that after the last target table load, the source team added file 1 with 5 rows, and file 2 with another 5 rows, totaling 10 rows. Later, the source team deletes file 1. At this point, when the stream is consumed, we only receive 5 rows. This is because Snowflake does not track activities in cloud storage and is unaware of the upload and subsequent deletion of file 1. That's all for today. Please stay tuned for our next video where we'll explore more advanced Snowflake features. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest technologies. Thanks for watching.